No, I mean, <laughs> you see, there's this great taboo against conflating homosexuals with paedophiles. Mm. And you're not allowed to say that, of course, these things exist on a spectrum. And that there is, of course, a huge uh, disproportionate overlap between homosexual men and paedophiles versus heterosexual men. Mass well, that's the whole thing with the Catholic Church, because they go, oh, no, these Catholic they're priests, not. they're not fucking two-year-olds, they're fucking pubescent boys, they're gays. Well, yes, they are. In many cases, they are gay. Although, I, you know, I'm reluctant to hear a bad thing about the Catholic Church. Um, you know, if it hadn't been for Father Michael, I would have earned a fraction of what I did in my 20s. Um, you know, the, the real, uh, the real, um, the real problem I have is with all these people who suddenly remember they were abused 20 years later and suddenly decide that it was a problem. These are whinging, selfish brats. I mean, my God, it's really not that big a deal. It's, you know, you can't let it ruin your life. So if somebody fiddled with you, so what? I mean, I wouldn't give nearly such good head if it weren't for my priest. Um, oh, whoa, priest, whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh! I, no, I just, I, you know, I, I just don't see the big that's, deal. That's the Long Island version of, of that. Re oh! So, we talked about this with Galen Boffman, I think his name is. Uh, spelled weird. But it, he brought up that gay chastity is different than real person chastity, like a woman. So right. if a woman gets, you know, molested at 10, 11, yeah. oh, no, sorry, sorry, 14, yeah. the father wants to shoot him. If it's a gay 14-year-old, we haven't really sullied anything. This person is about to go off on a career of decadence. Of sodomy and... Sodomy and eight sums and Yeah. Well, I lost my virginity in a five sum, so I have to tell you all the stereotypes are true. Um, I, you know, I, I have some sympathy with parents who think that. I have some sympathy with parents who, have, you know, um, who think that their child is effectively sullied already, so, you know, the, the local priest can do whatever he wants. Um, I mean, I think... Sure. Does that make you horny? Um... No, but you're the wrong race for me. I mean, it, maybe, it, maybe it would have. I don't know. Oh, you, you, if but I'm a nigger fart, would you be horny? <laughs> wow. Uh, <laughs> I went to Catholic school, man, for a whole year. Cured yeah. me. Well, Fixed me up know. good. That's where you get your fine sense of right and wrong from. No, wait, let's not do that. Well, with, uh, right and wrong as far as what is right and what is wrong. Did anyone try right to touch you? Did try to with you? No, I got lucky. They beat me a little Which bit. Which you got Smacked lucky? You got bit. unlucky. You didn't get that taste of... Uh, no, I said, like I said earlier, if it weren't for Father Michael, I would have given far less good head. I mean, I, I There was a real Father Michael? So much less... You know, he's, he's, he's going to get killed now, but... Who is Father Michael? I'm not... No, I bet... There's I'm, a real dude? I should... Maybe I, suck his dick? For real? Um, I make me. I was quite enthusiastic about it. I thought my English teacher, too. How old was he at the time? Um, oh, I don't know. He's quite young, quite hot. Really? Yeah. And so that's where it all started? With Father Michael? No, no. Was that post the tranny? Yeah, it was post. So thing? I wasn't like a, I wasn't Drag abused queen? as a child or anything like that. So uh, it, was quite, it was quite a. a you already had the five some, and you're like, "This is all wrong. I need to talk to Father Michael." He's like, <laughs> "Suck my dick and shut the fuck up." And you're like, "Religion is you awesome." You see, I really, I really had no hope, did I? I was, I was, I was never going to end well. Well, it seems like you kept stumbling in at dicks. <laughs> Do you think I make a good priest? I think I make a good priest. Well, you make a, a good priest, priest if you think the guy that made you suck his dick was a good priest. That kind of good. He was priest. a great priest, honestly. Like he was the. I, I, my, he was he, good other than that. I've never had a better singing tutor. He was great. Singing teacher. He got notes out of me I didn't even know I could produce. <laughs> well, he, he yeah. worked your plumbing. Shattering the uh, chandeliers, kind of. <laughs> he, but was he good outside of what he did? Like, was he a good religious scholar? Was he a good uh, teacher? I think he was just a parish priest. I mean, I just really a fucking shouldn't. creep getting his dick sucked then. Yeah, he's going he's gonna to get lynched now. How's he going to get lynched? Does people, do people know who he is? I don't think so. What's his name? Well, I'm not saying anymore. Well, how old were you at the time? I'm not, I'm just you were a little kid, and he was like, what? You're just, you're trying to, was you're he trying in his to, 20s or so 30s? Yet another, yet another feminist strategy that you have adopted, in addition to your language what? policing. Trying, trying to, to trying pedophiles? To, no, trying to go on this You were the witch, one who was anti-pedophile hunt. Earlier. I told you it wasn't the pedophilia. I was well, after I lost my virginity. I was how in my teens. You? I was in my teens. 14. I was in my teens. Something you said you like Something like that. That's what you said. 14 is pedophilia, buddy. I was in my teens. I don't know how they rock it in merry old England. I was in my teens. Over I mean, here in my country, and you're fucking where never, you are right you've now, You've never America. seen a 15-year-old girl at any point in your life, however old you were, you've never seen a 15-year-old girl you thought was hot. Yeah, when I was 15. No, when you, they were were <laughs> <laughs> when you were 25. When you were 25. I'm not retarded, dude. When you were 25, when you were 30, no. you would have seen girls about 15 you thought were hot. No, of I thought they were did. little kids. No, you didn't. I thought, damn, she's going to be hot, but I didn't want to fuck her. Bullshit. Like, not bullshit at all. You can't tell me what I was born into.
I think if you're 14... Born years, like this! You were born this way. You were born, born, <laughs> born a dreary nitpicker. Um, <laughs> no, you're trying to make it so I'm a fucking creeper like you. No! I'm not, I'm not I'm into 14-year-olds. How I, dare you, sir? <laughs> no. I'm not into 14-year-olds. Well, that Don't fucking put this guy on me. that you said is a great guy, he, he was into 14-year-olds. Fantastic. It was fantastic. Yeah, he's a terrible person. No. He certainly was. I was a very mature 14-year-old. Yeah. Well, in your case, he got it right. He got the right guy to molest. <laughs> it wasn't molestation. It That's absolutely molestation. It wasn't molestation. It was perfectly consensual. I don't think it is when they're 14. When I was 14, trust me, I was the predator. Wow. Um, I was the predator. You were the predator. You were was, chasing uh, after the I priest? I was the instigator. He was trying to stay close to God? I was chasing everybody. I was, mm. I was aggressively seeking out sexual company of adults because I knew it would horrify people because I wanted sort of power over them. It was my way of rebelling. Uh. Um, my way of rebelling. I was, I was the predator at 14, let me tell you. Do you think that's what's going on with that guy who directed X-Men? Bunch of Brian Singer. Yeah, a bunch of fourteen-year-old um, predators yeah, going that, after that poor man. I, I, I'm not sure it's the case with him. No. <laughs> That's a guy. You know, I lived in Hollywood a, a, a while ago. A, did you? Br briefly? And did you go um, to one of his parties? I, I went to other people who I won't name um, mm -hmm. of a similar stature in Hollywood. I went to their boat parties and to their house parties and things. And some of the things I have seen have beggared belief. Yeah. yeah. Can you give us like a? Well, just. I can't. I don't want to be indiscreet about specific people. Right, you don't have to I do think that. It's going Just to dance be, around the facts. Yeah, dangerous. Yeah. But I can tell you the truth without dropping anyone in it. Okay. I mean, some of the boys there were very young, very young. And, and I, this I is really recently. I don't remember. No, no, like I don't know, eight years ago. Um, I don't remember. Statue limitations. <laughs> I don't remember. Um, whether I ever met Brian Singer or whether mm -hmm. I, I, know, I even knew who he was then, but I knew other people of similar stature, as I say, and there were some very young boys around at that time. There was a lot of drugs and a lot of um, twinks, a lot of twinks taking drugs and having unsafe sex with older men, and some of these boys were very young. Desperate, what did you think about for a gotcha, though? It's a game of gotcha. So they don't really, they're not really upset. That, of course that they're not upset. It's, they're looking they're for upset. something to complain about. Yes, but the problem with it, yeah, the problem with outrage culture, I mean, I've always said that only outrage culture is what it is, right? right? And the problem with outrage, the, the, the only way to approach outrage culture, which is what I do, is to be outrageous, right? Say ridiculous and outrageous things um, simply to draw attention to the people who get upset about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's a very important project and it's what I do in a lot of my columns, it's what I do on Twitter, I've done it a little bit today. Um, and I think it's very important to... Wait a um, minute. You've done a little bit of it today? Well, I've been outrageous. I haven't said anything I don't believe, but I've been outrageous. Sure, you I've have been outrageous. Been outrageous. I've been outrageous. A little bit outrageous. Um, just a little bit. I've, I've toned myself down for you because I know what a... Thank what a you. Hulking, it. heterosexual, lum lumping... Appreciate it so much. Don't um, threaten me. No, I've... <laughs> Okay, so you were a kid and you fucked all kinds of older men, correct? No, not a kid. I'd say I was a sexually aware, promiscuous 13, 14 year old, perfectly able to give consent. Unlike how, do, how does everyone feel about the age of 13? Is that like everyone's I think for some people it's perfectly fine, but the difference here is that I was giving informed and aware consent. And okay. I, was, I was a sexually mature. Uh, young man able to give consent and giving consent to so, sexual acts versus so you're, the you're saying, of an eight year old girl. You're, you're saying that you reach sexual maturity at a younger age, uh, yes. you know, or at an early age. Okay. It's like, I just had sex with a 13 year old. I would be creeped out, honestly. <laughs> yeah. How, what is your age? What is your age? I, I'm uh, almost 35. Okay, well, I'm talking about 28 year olds. Oh, wow. Well. Oh, okay. Well, that changes everything. <laughs> well, you won't Paul's like, okay, video, cool. I'm sure. I don't. I'm guessing because I've never told this publicly that you won't hear that in this video. But we're talking about thirteen twenty-five, thirteen twenty-eight. Um, these things do happen perfectly consensually. Um, often, by the way, it's the women who suffer in this. To say, in the situation I describe in the Joe Rogan show, I was very definitely the predator on both occasions. Um, you know, as, as as offensive as some people will find that, I don't. I don't much care. Um, I, I, that was certainly my experience of it. You know, I was very much the, the so bad, uh, predator in uh, situations. But to be clear, but there are certainly people who um, are capable of um, uh, of giving consent at a younger age. I certainly consider myself to be one of them. People, I mean, people who are sexually active younger. Um, I think it particularly happens in the gay world, by the way. 
uh, and in many cases, actually, those relationships with older men. This is one of the. This sort of. This is why one of the reasons I hate the left. You know, I've had this sort of stupid. <laughs> you know. One size fits all policing of culture. This sort of this you know, arbitrary Milo. This arbitrary. Let him talk. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm this sorry. This arbitrary. I was just... I'm just gonna. I'll be quick. This arbitrary and oppressive idea of consent, which totally destroys, you know, um, the you know, the understanding that many of us have the complexities and subtleties and complicated nature of many relationships. You know, people are messy and complex, and actually, in in, in the homosexual world, particularly, some of those relationships between younger boys and older men, the sort of coming of age relationships, the relationships in which those older men have helped those young boys to discover who they are and give them security and safety and provide them with love and and uh, um, and uh, and a reliable uh, sort of a rock where they can't speak to their parents. Some of those relationships are it some like of the most... It, it yeah, like, well, you know it, it sounds like... what? It sounds like Catholic I'm priest grateful. molestation to me. And you know what? I'm grateful for Father Michael. I wouldn't give nearly such good head if it wasn't for him. Um, oh, my know, look, God. Oh, my God. I can't handle it. It's funny because... What is wrong with you, man? Come on. Me some <laughs> you are you are advocating for cross generational relationships here. Can we can we be honest about that? Yeah, I don't mind saying I don't mind admitting that, and I think particularly in the gay world and outside the Catholic Church, if that's where some of you want to go with this, I think in the gay world some of the most important, enriching, and incredibly um, you know life affirming, important, uh, shaping relationships very often between. Uh, younger boys and older men can they can be hugely positive experiences for those young boys they can you even know, um, save those young from desolation I, uh, from oh, they're consensual hold, hold on <laughs>